I made a mistake in my earlier video in that I did not explain how I ended up with a pitch range of 171. Uh, I had the pitch range, I think, uh, or initially set up at 165. And uh, later in the video, I showed that I ended up with 171, but I never explained uh, uh, why uh, I ended up with 171. And I did not explain uh, what I did in between. Like, I actually uh, uh, tracked uh, the blades and another thing so so this video is uh, uh, to make up for uh, for the deficit from earlier to recap at this point we leveled the slash at mid stick low stick and high stick so that's a leveled and we installed the head uh, after installing the head we need to adjust the pitch links at, at mid stick uh, just a pitch link so we end up with uh, zero degrees of, of pitch on both uh, on both blade grips and not only will that get us the uh, zero degrees of mid pitch uh, mid stick that we want but also uh, that would also attract uh, the blades we want to go into the servo tab and click on the uh, sub trim uh, tuning box and the reason why we want to do that is to make the servos uh, at 90 degrees and uh, which will in turn uh, make the uh, swash uh, be exactly at the mid stick that we um, uh, established earlier, so uh, uh, mid range. And it'll make it so that even if I move the collected stick in the radio up and down, it will not have any effect on the swash plate whatsoever uh, by again clicking on this uh, sub train. A tuning box. By clicking that sub trim box on the Spirit software, I know that my uh, swash is at mid stick and it's not going to react to any collective uh, move on my radio. And the next step here is to get the head uh, rotated so that it ends up uh, parallel to the boom. All, right. All you can do here is eyeball it, and this is as good as that's going to get. At this point, I'm going to use uh, my pitch gauge. I generally use this uh, RC Logger pitch gauge, but I, I know they don't make this anymore. Uh, and for purposes of the video, uh, this one is actually better just because it, it's lit. So I'm gonna turn this off and we, we're gonna be using this angled cube. You can get this at Amazon. It, it works perfectly, but I just prefer the other one because it's smaller and lighter. But again, see how with the light here it makes it easier. And I'm gonna use the, uh, motor can as my uh, zero reference you know so uh, right now my, my my table may, may not be exactly uh, uh, completely leveled and you know, of course you know the the, the skids in the helicopter uh, they always ha uh, um, have a little bit of a play so you never know what the what zero degrees uh, uh, really is uh, oh, uh, another thing that I do here is like I put uh, a tape on the skids just so that the, the helicopter does, doesn't uh, move much uh, once I start this process because then it'll, it'll mess up the measurements. But uh, going back to uh, uh, using the uh, pitch gauge and using the motor can or top of the motor can as, a, as my zero reference, I'm just going to zero the pitch gauge. And you know that's so that's zero right now. So my pitch gauge is zero degrees on top of the motor can after zeroing it out, and then I'll pay, place this pitch gauge up here in the blade grip, and it's zero. Okay, so that's uh, that's good. Then I'm going to get the other, uh, and if I if I needed to adjust something, I would be adjusting the uh, pitch link up here to move the arm up or down to get the zero degrees that the that we established. All right. And then um, I'll do the same for uh, this other blade grip. And I'm using different colors just so that I keep the, the clay blade grips uh, 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 in check. So otherwise I get confused with which one is which. But uh, uh, this, I would adjust these, this pitch link for this other blade grip that I have a, a, a green uh, holder on. So it's the, right now we're pretty. Uh, the, um, uh, the head is uh, uh, parallel, parallel to the boom. And I'll place this up here, and it's reading zero degrees. So, so we're good. So not only are we at zero degrees, but we know the uh, the blade grips at, at mid uh, stick, uh, uh, with the uh, swash at uh, mid travel. But 
uh, both blade grips should be also tracked because they're, they, again they're both uh, zero degrees on the same uh, plane. I mean, it's not my favorite pitch gauge, but you get the idea. This should be pretty uh, um, tracked. Now that both blade grips have a zero pitch at mid stick, I'm going to uh, determine the uh, collective uh, range. Uh, so I want the collective range of about uh, positive 12 and a half at high stick and negative 12 and a half degrees at low stick. Um, so I, I have the uh, head parallel to the boom. I'm gonna put my uh, other pitch gauge here. This one is a little easier for what I want to do. I'm gonna turn it on. Uh, it's reading negative uh, one degree. That's fine. I'm gonna zero it. And I like this one has a three second delay. And we are zeroed here. Now that I am ready to adjust the collective range of high and low stick of the helicopter, I need to untick the sub trim box. So this will allow the uh, radio to use the uh, collective uh, stick. Um, and then after this, we will go into the uh, limits uh, tab. And here's where we adjust the pitch range either up or down. Trim on the computer. And this will allow me to go into the uh, a high uh, stick uh, reading. And here I'm getting only 12.3 uh, degrees. Uh, so that, that's easy. Uh, so I'll go on the computer. I'm going to go into the um, it's a limits uh, tab. And I'm going to increase on the top here. I will increase a pitch range. I had it in 165. I'm going to increase it uh, a, a little bit more. Okay. Uh, 168, 170, and I think uh, maybe 171 or so. Uh, I want 12.5, and that's exactly what I'm getting here, okay? So now I'm going to go into a low stick, okay? And I want to get the same, but guess what? Now I'm getting a, a 12.8, so that means that I need to uh, 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 fiddle with the computer a little bit, and I'll... Uh, I will get back on that. So how do I correct that? So I go back to the uh, servos tab. I go into the uh, setup, uh, the setup. Uh, as you can see up here, um, if I have the uh, the high collective, I, I, I ended up with zero, 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 and that was uh, to level the swage at, uh, at high stick. Uh, I'm gonna bring the low, uh, the collective stick down. Trust me that, that I have the collective stick down. And currently I have three, four, and negative four. And these are, uh, and this is, these are the numbers that, that it came out to level the swash at low stick. I can move all of these, uh, again, I'm, I'm at low stick, as you can see here. I can move all these servos one point down individually, or I can, press this button here the pitch adjustment and what that will do is that move all the uh, three sliders or the three servos uh, uh, equally all right or collectively uh, so here uh, I also have three four negative four so I'm gonna bring just one slider down so that I end up with the uh, one number down which we here would be two three and negative five so let's see if that works two two, three, and negative five. I just brought the slider down one. And uh, maybe I'll bring it down one more. So I end up with one, two, and negative four. Let's see if that uh, does it, whoops. And you can see here that at low stick, I ended up with negative 12.5. So as you can see here, mid stick, I got zero degrees. High stick, well, 12.6, low stick, negative uh, 12.4, 12.5. We're just gonna leave it like that. This is by as good as it's going to get. The next thing we need to do is set up the uh, six degree uh, calibration. So we are gonna uh, get out of this. I believe we go into the advanced menu and we are gonna set up this uh, six degree uh, tuning geometry. So I have the swash at mid stick right now the 
uh, pitch gauge is reading zero degrees as it should and we're going to perform the uh, geometry six degree uh, calibration for the spirit. So this is probably best done in picture in picture or picture in picture. Uh, so I'm going to click on this uh, box with the geometry uh, uh, six degrees and as you can see here my pitch gauge is reading 6.8 but I actually want 6.0. Uh, so what I'm going to do here on the computer is I'm going to bring this 128 value down, all right, 26, 25, and see as I bring this uh, value down, you should see the pitch gauge is coming uh, down as well. And I want to uh, bring this number down so that I get uh, a 6.0 so I play around with the uh, geometry 6% uh, some more and I ended up with the uh, 117 as the number that more most consistently would give me uh, 6 degrees uh, it, again this number doesn't have to be perfect uh, but it should be kind of in the ballpark uh, you know plus or minus uh, 0.3 degrees or so, you know, should be should be fine for the um, for the control loop. As a verification of our setup, we are going to uh, test uh, with the blades on how well we accomplish a zero degrees at mid stick and how well our uh, our blades are tracking along the axis of rotation. So we first need to uh, take the sub trim tuning uh, box which is again located in the servos uh, tab and that makes sure that the uh, swash is at exactly at mid stick and the blades are at zero pitch as we um, adjust the, the blade pitch lengths earlier. Now we need to fold the blades so they are uh, uh, together and as you can see here, around the same uh, length, they are pretty, pretty even in the same, you know, rotating in the same plane. You know, there's always going to be a little bit of play, but they are pretty, pretty even in the, on the same uh, plane. And then we will test by rotating uh, the blades along the axis, or, uh, uh, you know, I guess uh, we're just going to rotate the blades and see how the blades do remain, it's kind of hard to tell with the camera because of parallax, but they are, the blades, uh, I can tell that they are uh, staying together, so one blade is not getting any um, uh, higher or lower than the other, they're just, you know, really, the tips are in the same uh, plane of rotation, so what that tells me is that uh, a number of things, first of all, that the um, uh, swash blade is is pretty darn level. That's the first thing. It also uh, uh, tells me that the uh, uh, that the shaft is is not bent, uh, which is great. We don't want to bend sh a shaft, and uh, the tracking is going to be uh, perfect along the um, axis of uh, rotation here. Uh, so this is probably as good as it's going to get as far as a setup uh, for uh, vibration free and, 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 and so forth.